HTML is a hypertext markup language designed to be parsed by the browser as a simple content layout for user readability. And HTML is really just your content between elements called tags. And most tags have a beginning and end where your content lies between the two, though not all tags do. These are known as self-closing tags. But all you really need to know about HTML is that it's incredibly simple and you can learn it in three minutes. So let's get practical. Here I'm gonna write a simple HTML document that will be hosted by my local machine. If I were to host this content externally, I would need to establish a software server and configure it to serve this HTML document. We'll start our document with an HTML doc type, then declare HTML before addressing the head. Think of each page like a person presenting himself. There's a head, body, and foot. The head is where you might place your Google Analytics script. Our meta tag here will define our HTML encoding. The title tag will define the title of the page or tab in the browser. We can close the head tag. I'll add a div tag here where I'll reference a class that I will later define in CSS in the head. Let's start the body. Next, we define the navigation bar. We'll create clickable links using an A tag. We specify hyperlink reference before passing in our link, then name, then the end of the tag. Our nav bar is now finished. We'll add a header to better describe our page. The one next to the H specifies priority, value, and typically refers to a larger or smaller font size, where a higher number will display a smaller piece of text between the tags. This could be overwritten in CSS. However, it's necessary to understand HTML convention for browser compatibility. Let's add a photo. Media references are normally done locally, but they don't have to be. We'll copy and paste a link from another source to add our photo. Most web pages cite additional resources at the bottom of the page, so let's do that. We can wrap our textual content in a paragraph tag. Close our footer, body, div, and HTML tag. You'll notice I've distinguished HTML sections using tapped spacing. This isn't necessary as the browser won't consider white space as an alteration to the syntax, but it's good practice. Since we'd like to note our progress, let's make a comment. Comments in HTML aren't parsed by the browser, meaning they're invisible to the end user. This can be helpful when marking a large section that you would like to revisit later. To center our content appropriately, I'll add a little bit of CSS into the head in a style tag. Let's save our document with the extension .html at the end. Now we can see our work by opening this document and viewing it in the browser. Congratulations, you've taken the first step in mastering HTML.